Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to another Madden 18 experiment. And as you guys see in the title, we are doing our biggest combination of teams yet for a video as we're combining every NFL team from the state of California into one giant super team. That is going to consist of the players from the LA Rams, the San Francisco 49ers, the LA Chargers, and the Oakland Raiders. I know the Raiders are moving next year, but they're in California now, so they're in today's video. So those four teams, all combined into one, better win the Super Bowl. Four NFL teams combined into one, four teams with all their best players into one super team. She'll be able to win the Super Bowl, but let's find out. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's experiment, and if you do, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for our biggest combination of teams yet. Let me know what teams you do want to see me combine next in the comment section below for an upcoming video. And also, if you have any other Madden 18 experiment ideas, let me know. And if I see any awesome ideas, I'll be sure to use it for a video and feature your comment in that video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. But with that said, let's go over this team. And I'm not sure when I'm uploading this video, if I've uploaded it last or uploaded it before some of the other ones. But this is by far the best team yet. Now, at quarterback, we had a ton of guys to choose from. We have Phillip Rivers, Jared Goff, Derek Carr, and Jimmy G. And going by Madden overall ratings, Phillip Rivers is going to be the starter. And crazy enough, this team has like 80 players on it, so a ton of players are going to get cut. We're going to see what players do get cut. And it's probably, they're probably, the CPU is going to end up cutting Jimmy G because he's like, the team doesn't need full quarterback. So Jimmy G is probably going to get picked up by somebody and end up winning the MVP. Just watch. Now, moving on to running back, this is disgusting. Todd Gurley, Melvin Gordon, Marshawn Lynch, and Carlos Hyde. At fullback, one of the best fullbacks in the game and in the league, Kyle Juszczyk, backed up by Marcel Reese. Now, wide receiver, pretty talented as well. Keenan Allen, Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree, Pierre Garçon, Robert Woods, Sammy Watkins, Cooper Cup, Travis Benjamin, Tyrell Williams, Marquise Goodwin, and Mike Williams. And a lot of these guys are probably going to get cut as well. I'm not cutting them. I just combined the teams. The CPU is going to take care of that. Some pretty talented tight ends as well. Hunter Henry, Jared Cook, Antonio Gates, Ladarius Green, Tyler Higby, and Gerald Everett. And the reason I kept him on the team is because he's the first ever South Alabama graduate to actually get drafted in the NFL. He actually had a decent rookie season. Now moving on to the offensive line. It's pretty good too. Andrew Whitworth backed up by Donald Penn at left tackle. Now at left guard, Kalichi Osamele backed up by Roger Saffold III. At center, we have Roddy Hudson backed up by John Sullivan. And at right guard, we have Roger Saffold. He's actually going to be a starter here. Backed up by Forrest Lamp. And at right tackle, we have Joe Staley, the veteran. Now moving on to defense, pretty talented as well. Aaron Donald at left end. At right end, we have Melvin Ingram. Now, when Joey Bosa isn't a starter at defensive end, you know your team's pretty freaking good. And at defensive tackle, we have DeVorce Buckner backed up by Corey Luguet. Justin Ellis, Brandon Meebane, and we might as well put Joey Bosa as a number two defensive tackle since he's not going to be a starter at defensive end. Like, that's just nasty. Now, moving on to the linebacker positions. Pretty good linebacker here at 99 overall, Khalil Mack. Uh, backed up by Connor Barwin and Denzel Perryman. At middle linebacker, we have Ruben Foster, the rookie, backed up by Navarro Bowman, the veteran. Alec Ogletree and Mark Barron. At the right outside linebacker spot, we have another veteran, Aldon Smith, backed up by Robert Quinn and Denzel Perryman. Now, in the secondary, we have Casey Hayward, backed up by Trevor Williams, Jason Verrett, Tremaine Johnson, Desmond King, TJ Carey, and Nikhil Roby Coleman. At free safety, we have LaMarcus Joyner, backed up by Trey Boston. And at strong safety, we have John Johnson, the third, backed up by Jaquiski Tart, Jaheel Ade, and we have some other guys. Now, at kicker, we have Robbie Gold and Sebastian Janikowski, and at the starting punter position, we're going to have Johnny Hecker and Marquette King. I don't know which one to start, I guess. Uh, we'll just let the CPU decide who ends up starting there. But this team, man, by far is dumb. Like, it is good. It's a good freaking team and should win the Super Bowl. So we have to see how dumb Madden simulations actually are and to see if this team can actually win the Super Bowl. Now, first things first, we are going to send the regular season and see if any notable players do get cut. So looking in free agency to see if any notable players are here. Gerald Everett, unfortunately, is a free agent. He's actually on the practice squad, so that's not that bad. Anybody else, Jatavis Brown got released, but signed to the practice squad. 
and I'm guessing we had a lot of pretty good players get signed elsewhere. So look at some of these players that got signed because we had to release them. Sammy Watkins got signed to the 49ers, Carl Joseph to the Chargers, Denzel Perryman to the 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo to the Chargers, Marquette King also got cut and got signed to the Bills, Sebastian Janikowski to the Seahawks, Carlos Hyde to the Chargers, Marcel Reese to the Jets, Victor Cruz also got cut and signed to the Chargers, anybody else stand out? I think that's probably it, but that's some pretty good players. They got cut Marquise Goodwin's another one, Gary Barnage, I guess he was, he was already a free agent. But with that said, boys, it is time to advance to the playoffs, and I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below how you think this team does. I'm going to say it's the best team thus far, and I say it should go 16-0, but I'm going to say we slip up somewhere and go 15-1. Now, for the other teams, judging by what's happened thus far, this is the last one I'm recording, but with how everything's gone this far, I'm going to say the most wins any of the other three teams from California gets because all their best, team, our best players are gone, I'm going to say is two. I'm going to say two of them go 0-16. So leave your predictions for how these teams do in the comment section below. So the moment of truth, the state of California ends up going, like I said, 15-1. We do get a first round buy, so that's promising. Everybody on offense progressed, so that looks like it could be pretty good. On defense, not as much. So it looks, I'm going to guess our offense was easily the number one offense in the NFL. I'm going to say our defense, judging by this, was number two. It should be number one, but because it's Madden, I'm going to say number two. Record-wise, we go 15-1. What, what did I tell you? I'm just the one. I'm the way. I'm the life. I'm the man. I'm the one. RBT, President of the United States, 2020. Now, moving along to the standings, look at the rest of the teams. The Chiefs go 16-0. So, even at 15-1, we didn't have the best record in the NFL. So, that's kind of discouraging. Steelers had a good year at 14-2. Now, how did the other teams do from the state of California? The Raiders go 5-11. So, they didn't do that bad. The 49ers go 2-14. And, and the Chargers go 1-15. So, no 0-16ers here. But that's, that's pretty bad. Now, looking at the stats, do we have anybody win MVP. So we had the best offense in the NFL. I got that one right too. In defense, we had dog, look at me. I'm the one. Next presidential election, write me in. Write me in. Because I'm the one. Alex Smith won. No wonder. He went 16-0. And we had Todd Gurley come in 6. And our quarterback didn't come in the top 10, which is really weird for a team that went 15-1. So how did he do statistically? Phillip Rivers I guess we run the ball a lot. He only had 3,600 yards, 31 touchdowns, 12 picks, only sacked 23 times, which is pretty awesome. Now, rushing-wise, Todd Gurley almost had 2,000 yards. That's pretty good. And our backup, Melvin Gordon, almost had 1,000 yards as well. And that's 35 touchdowns on the ground combined with just from two running backs. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot of yards. So no wonder we didn't throw the ball that much because we had two pretty good running backs and Marshawn Lynch. Only ran the ball 22 yards. He was probably just eating Skittles. Now, receiving yards-wise, we actually didn't have a receiver eclipse 1,000 yards, but I guess it's because we didn't throw the ball that much. Kenan Allen was the closest with 997 yards. Michael Crabtree with 852. And we had Hunter Henry, our tight end, lead us with nine receiving touchdowns. Now, defensively, we had Aldon Smith lead us with 107 tackles. We had somebody with a lot of sacks. Aaron Donald with 16 and a half sacks. Melvin Ingram with 14 sacks. And Joey Bosa, although he didn't start on the end, I guess he played on the defensive tackle position, had nine and a half sacks, and Jason Verrett led us with three interceptions. Now, the fun part is to go see how bad the other teams did statistically. Jimmy Garoppolo got sacked 65 times, was uh, had 16 picks. That probably all wasn't his fault. He's probably dead by the end of the year. Carlos Hyde has 782 yards and nine touchdowns, so not that bad. I've seen a lot worse. Receiving-wise, they have Marquise Goodwin as their leading receiver with almost 1,000 yards. Marquise Wilson had a decent year, too. And they had Marquise Goodwin lead them with five receiving touchdowns. Defensively, Martrell Spate had a lot of tackles with 148 tackles. Now, the next team is going to be the San Francisco 49ers. How bad they do. C.J. Beathard, not that great. 16 picks to only 15 touchdowns. Not even 3,000 yards for the year. Was sacked 62 times. That's a lot. Rushing yards-wise, Matt Breda led him with 962 yards, which isn't absolutely terrible. Marlon Mack had 305, and Matt Breda had 7 touchdowns. 
in receiving yards, Sammy Watkins only had 49 catches for 639 yards. So him and Trent Taylor had five touchdowns. And defensively, they had C.O. Moore with a lot of tackles too. They had four, no, they had five guys over 100 tackles. That shows they were on defense a lot because their offense was awful. And last but not least, then check out and see how the Oakland Raiders did. E.J. Manuel was their starter. 17 touchdowns to 14 picks. So actually, probably did the best statistically out of the three quarterbacks that was on the other teams from the state of California. And was stacked the least amount of times, too. Rushing yards-wise, Tavon Austin was their running back with 531 yards. And him and Lance Dunbar both had five touchdowns on the ground. And receiving yards-wise, their leading receiver was Seth Roberts with 563 yards yards. Now defensively, the leading tackler was Mark, it just gets more and more, Marquel Lee with 165 tackles. Now with that said, boys, it is time to see if this team can win the Super Bowl. I don't want to spoil anything, but it hasn't happened yet. So can the state of California bring a Super Bowl ring for the first time to any of these states? They have to get past the 10-6 Falcons first. Can they do it? And they do. Now in the NFC Championship game, they have to beat the 11-5 New Orleans Saints, and they do. And of course, they're going to be taking on the 16-0 Kansas City Chiefs. So the two best records in the NFL make it to the Super Bowl. Can they get it done? We got a close win against the Falcons, but a blowout win in the NFC Championship game. So can the state of California get a Super Bowl ring? with a win over the perfect Kansas City Chiefs who are 18-0 on the season, including the playoffs up to this point. I have yet to look. Did they get it done? And they do. So this...